Looking to get tips and donations on Twitch? I'll be going over how to set that up. I'm your boy Solo. Let's jump into it. To get started, we'll be using Stream Elements with Twitch for the tips and donations, as this is a super easy platform to set up your PayPal with, and you must have Stream Elements connected to your Twitch account. You can do this by going over to StreamElements.com and just logging in with your Twitch account. So you just go to the login and log in with your Twitch. If you have not connected this, you will need to go through an authentication process. If you don't do that, it just won't work. So to get it set up, just connect it with your Twitch and it should log in. Once you have that done and you're logged into Stream Elements with your Twitch, you will start on this here dashboard page and it might prompt you to do some things like it says I'm 60% of the way done. Uh, don't worry about that right now. We're just going to jump right over to the revenue tab. So we want to go down here to where it says revenue, click to expand it, and then you'll see your tipping settings. It will have your, uh, your partnership and your merch as well. So if you're looking to get into merch, I do have a video covering that and I'll make sure to leave that in the description below if you're looking for any information on the merch store or anything. But for now, we're just going to click on the tipping settings. If this is your first time here, it will greet you with the earn money from tips. This is straightforward and Stream Elements team, the Stream Elements team did a great job making it easy to follow with this checklist of things to do. The first thing we want to do is connect our PayPal and you have to make sure these are all green. So the PayPal is the first one and another thing you will have to have a PayPal account and a Stream Elements account. You will have to have both of these accounts to make tips work. So what we're going to do is just click this here connect. Next on the list is to add your donation panel to your channel. For this here, you'll have some graphics here where it says tips. If you don't have your own, click the download and use these. Don't go with nothing and don't use the text. Use one of these here pictures. They're free to use and until you have your own, just use those ones. Now you can click the link here. When you click it once, you can go over here and check it and it'll go into your page and it'll show you what it looks like. We're just going to close that. We're just checking it out just to see what it looks like for now. It'll show some things, a couple of images, and give you a few tipping amounts. At this year point, you're pretty much 30% done. If you downloaded this and connected your PayPal, the next thing you need to do is just add this here to your panel. So from here, we're just going to copy this, check it. It's confirmed so that everything here is green. And then we can click the done button. Now, instead of saying earn money from tips and having a bunch of stuff, it will show pretty much just a basic, a basic what it's going to look like. And you can go over here to tipping settings or you can go to edit and it will bring you over to the tipping setting. For now, we're going to go over to Twitch. We want to add this as a panel. So what we want to do is we want to go to our channel. There's two ways to get here as well. I find this very convenient. You can find your Twitch panels in two spots. You can go to your about page right here and it'll say edit panels and you can edit your panels. Another spot to find this is if you click on chat, everyone else is going to see this page, not your about page. I doubt anybody even goes to about page, but this is the page that I mostly edit from. It's just click on your chat. It should show your stream and then you can click edit panels. What we want to do, you won't have this one here. I already, this is an example. We're going to remove it click the remove. We're going to click this here plus sign here and we want to add a text or image panel. In here, we're just going to paste that link for now. We're going to click submit. We're going to go and extract this file. So in here, we're going to have to unzip and extract here. Okay, there's our three tip buttons. Perfect. Now we're just going to add the image. We're going to choose the image. We're going to go to our downloads. We're going to pick a tip button and click open and click done. That's all you need to do. Leave the title blank or it'll say, if you put tips in here, it'll say tip twice. It'll say tip above the image. So we do not want that. We just want to have the link that says your stream elements, your user's name slash tips. And we want to have a picture there. So this will go to your tipping page. We're just going to click the submit. That's where it should be and that's how it should show up. So we can give it a test. We're just going to give it a click and make sure that it opens our tipping page. Now there's a few other things in here I might want to play with. So we're going to go back to stream elements. Now that we have it added, we're going to go back to stream elements. We're going to go, if you're, if you land on the dashboard, we're going to go to the revenue tab. We're going to go to the tipping settings here, and then we're going to go over to tipping settings on this here tab. And we'll go down. There's some page options. Pick your currency, whether that's USD, Canadian, or whatever you're in, whatever country you're in. You can put the minimal amount. I put a dollar because I think that's fair. And you can put a max amount. I just left that empty. I think that's fine. Suggested amount. 
maximum length of message. So they can leave a message when they make a tip. I think that's pretty cool. Now in this here spot here, where it says subscribe to global chargeback protection, we click that there on. So if somebody gives you a tip or a donation and wants to take it back, this is gonna protect you. And the next one here is a tipping preset. I actually don't suggest using this. I suggest setting these like half decent numbers because 333 and 420 and 69, like those make no sense. I, you should use 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I think that's a better way to do it. We're going to leave this stock, but this is just how you would change it and fix it up. You can leave it stock. People can just type in the amount they want to donate. Next is the design. This is where you're going to replace the images if you have any. I don't have any at this here time. And same as the, the title and the message you want the tippers. You can say thanks. We're going to put that in here. Thanks for the donation. I spelled it wrong. We'll not talk about it. Thanks for the donation. You're my hero. You know what I mean? Because I'll, because you're my hero. You be donating to me. Yeah, you're my hero. I, just put anything in there that you like. I think that's a great way to do it. And then there's like the show the leaderboard. You can show your top 10 tipping page and the total amount on the leader page. I leave these checked off because you might, some people really don't want you to show off how much money they give you. That's, some people don't like that. So use that at your own risk. Some people are okay with it and want to show off how much they've supported you. Some people don't like getting called out. So keep that in mind. The next on the list is just the, the panel setup. So this is the link. You just click it and it'll copy it for you to, to post it anywhere that you would like. And the last thing is the tip moderation. So automatic tip filtering. You can block it so that it doesn't say anything really bad and stop your like your anti spam of the TTS text to speech. So if you have like a text to speech, this will stop it from like spamming 35 different donations of a dollar. And the manual of tip approval. I think that's to protect you from the spam the same way. But that's all there is on this page. After this here, you go through your just your basics. Actually, after you just set up your PayPal and have your link added to your panel, you're pretty much done. Like this will allow you to have tips right away. You can just, you're done. And then tip ZN bot, it's that easy. You might wanna have a couple of more options here and same as you can select the amount here. So I think that's pretty cool. For the most part, that's it. I usually, I leave most of these here setting stocks and you, and you don't really have to change anything. You just have to have this here link set up to your PayPal and then make sure that it's posted here in your panels. And that's it. You're ready to accept donations and tips, etc. And do keep in mind when you are claiming these on your taxes, they're considered tips, not donations. I don't think you're allowed to claim these as donations, but definitely check with your tax advisor, whoever's that. Make sure you check on that there because these are tips, not necessarily donations. That's all there is to it. You should be able to accept tips on Twitch now. You have the panel set up and you're ready to go. If you think I forgot anything at all or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.